So this video is to show you how to take our 3D objects that we've created in Inventor and actually add colors to them and materials and textures and things like that. So once you've opened up your part, automatically it comes in as this sort of dull gray color and if we want to change that into something that's a little bit more representative of what it's actually made out of, we've got to come up here into our top toolbar and click on the appearance icon. It opens up your appearance browser. Now, the appearances that are actually in your drawing will appear up here under document appearances and normally all we've got is this normal default gray sample. However, uh, there is a library here full of dozens of different types of materials, different textures, different colors of things and if there's not something that you want specifically we can always pick one and, and modify certain aspects of it. So I'm alright with the texture and, and, uh, and the surface of my Lego block, but I want to change the color. So right up here in my document appearances, I'm going to double click the default picture and I want to change this color. So I've got to hit my little drop down arrow and edit color and I have a nice little selection of things to choose from. If there's not anything here that I like, I can always define my own new color. Uh, I'm gonna go with a nice Stanford purple. I hit apply, and now everything that used to be that default gray color has turned purple. If there were particular surfaces that I wanted to change, I can add new color samples to my document library by right-clicking on them in the inventor material library and adding them to my document materials. If I want something to specifically be aluminum, I have to select that surface in my drawing and then click on aluminum. And you'll notice that the surfaces that I click change over to my aluminum texture. When I'm all done, I can exit out of this window and I should be able to view this object as the material that I selected for. 